it is nice to kind of subvert the focus on this engagement proposal moment is the most important thing the best day of your yes. life it's the most important relationship it's your relationship to this man and like that's the only thing that matters like i kind of like the subversion of that to focus on like also our friendships matter i was crying when i saw her be the bachelor right and i literally had no like that was my only emotion and it's like if you're thinking about it from that perspective of other asian americans watching it then it's like yeah like we need to see these love stories being highlighted we want to see us being represented on the screen she's finally giving us a chance to do that hi everyone i'm kelly she's julie and we are here to find love we are back again for another bachelor recap we are doing joey's season finale oh my god we have so much to talk about it is so exciting we are top of the world right now <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know us, we are two dating coaches who analyze the relationship psychology and dating themes in reality TV shows, especially The Bachelor. So if you're into this sort of stuff, hit the subscribe button to follow along and join the conversation. And you can also listen to us on podcasts in Spotify and Apple Podcasts. First of all, we have to talk about our next Bachelorette. It's Jen! Yay! <laughs> so happy! Oh my god, I'm like gushing. I was so happy when I watched it last night. I just, I had dreamed about it. It felt like a, like an out of reach fantasy, but like it's her, it's happening. <laughs> I literally cried watching her last night. It was so beautiful to see her be the bachelorette to get her main story. I'm so, so, so thrilled for her. I know. Oh my gosh. I have so much to say. We'll get to Jen. Let's start by talking off about Joey and Kelsey first and everything that happened with the finale, finish out Joey's season, and then get to talking about Jen because, oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so there's been a lot of speculation this season, but it's Joey and Kelsey. It's so incredible to see their love story, to see her meet his parents, and to see, gosh, she just loves him so, so much. I really feel so connected to her emotions. As soon as she starts talking about him, she'll start tearing up. When she talks about like the depth of her affection, her commitment, the understanding of what it really means to choose somebody, I just feel like Kelsey is so connected to that concept. And it was beautiful to see the rest of their story play out in a fairly predictable way. I felt exactly the same way watching Kelsey. It felt like I was really feeling her emotions. I mean, I think we knew for a while that she really, really loved Joey. I mean, she said she was in love with him so early. It was like fantasy sweets week it, or maybe the week before, maybe hometowns. It was a while ago that she said that she was in love with Joey. So I guess it shouldn't be surprising that by this moment she was really really invested but i felt the same way you did julie i was like kind of caught off guard and really moved honestly by how much she clearly was like moved by how much she loved him so it, you know sometimes i don't know how much i believe the connection between the people who end up together in the end but with joey and kelsey i actually really buy it i think they seem really into each other and to me, it felt obvious that Joey liked her the most all along. I think I didn't want to believe it because I was like, we never get happy endings. We never have a lead to mm. the person who we want them to choose. Uh, there's always some like swerve and I don't know. It just feels like we wouldn't get it, but we got it. It was like the happy ending that we wanted for once. <laughs> so I was just, I was so happy to see it. And it was a beautiful proposal. I mean, we'll talk about the daisy of it all in a second here and I think that obviously what Daisy did in the end and leaving kind of affected the nature of the proposal because Kelsey came to the proposal stage knowing like she came knowing that Joey was gonna pick her and she that kind of made her have a different type of reaction but it was so beautiful the things that he said and how it just felt like the culmination of like a true a true love story it's just two people who really really liked each other and I would just kept thinking back to what you brought up Julie a couple of weeks ago of like they just have that secure attachment vibe they've had it for such a long time just like a really stable relationship and it reminds me of Charity and Don the other couple that we were actually happy for in the end like mm -hmm. it reminded me of them just because like it was stable the whole time it was really really a steady secure love and you know 
this is the end result of that. It was just like this joyous moment of, okay, we're just picking each other and it's happening. <laughs> I loved the transparency towards the end. I liked that they knew that they were going to choose each other. I, d I liked that she didn't walk into the proposal being like, is it me? Is it not me? Mm. It felt so beautiful. It felt like such a new ending. I just feel like the proposal was just so them because they have been so open about their emotions, the entire journey. And Joey is the most emotionally open bachelor that I just thought even the ending really neatly tied up their story very well. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. I will say at the after the final rose, their energy was a little weird, but I'm assuming maybe hmm. they're just nervous and it was just their first time together and maybe that's just all it was. It was a little bit, I felt like they both seemed a little bit like, <laughs> rigid Ooh. in comparison to how Ooh. they have been in the finale. Joey brought up that like Kelsey is like dealing with a lot of just like people had I think assumed that Daisy would win and people were just like so focused on Maria all season that Kelsey's story was kind of sideline yeah. to be honest all season like all season she kind of didn't get a lot of focus even though it seemed very obvious that their connection was the strongest. I think most people would have said that there was just other stuff kind of going on in the season and so joey even kind of said like it's a lot for kelsey to like watch this all back and see his connections with other people so i kind of got the sense that they had been maybe struggling a little bit after filming <laughs> just just a little bit but i'm sure they'll be fine i think they'll be able to work through it i actually genuinely like this couple a lot i really want them to be happy so <laughs> i mean you're so right about the energy towards the end because i noticed that the entire season for Joey, there's been so many other big names attached to it. Daisy has been like, you know, like everybody has really been putting a lot of fanfare around her. And then there's been so much hype around Maria. We've liked Kelsey, but Kelsey has always been a little bit of the sleeper. It's like, oh, we really, really like her. But the conversation is never centered on her. And I felt yeah. like last night, the finale, it was like, is it who's the bachelorette? And then it was like Daisy maria and then obviously jen was the bachelorette but it just felt like kelsey's story with joey was kind of pushed a little bit to the side and all a of these bit. new like you know cinematic universes within the bachelor was kind of spawning off in that moment so i just i understand it was like kelsey's journey and she just didn't get an opportunity to really relish in being the center of attention yeah i i agree and you know what like that was my main like beef with what daisy did like it was obviously a beautiful kind of moment it was such a different like ending to the season but I did kind of feel like Daisy's like stunt that she well not stunt that's harsh but the way Daisy handled the end of that relationship I, I do think kind of diverted a little bit of attention from Kelsey's story I mean I think the whole edit all season long was so focused on what Daisy did in the end the first episode of Joey's season was that cold open of Joey crying after Daisy had left. Mm. And so it felt like the whole season was kind of like building up to that moment as opposed to building up to like the proposal. <laughs> so yeah. I do feel like there was a little bit of a, I don't know, I, I, I didn't love Daisy's actions, but it doesn't matter because even in the, after the final rose, Daisy was like, the focus is on Joey and Kelsey. They have this beautiful love story that I think everyone, I think most people support it. So I'm just excited to see them thrive. I hope, that, I hope they last. I can't say for sure. I feel like it, I don't know enough about them to know whether I think they're going to last, but I really like them a lot. And I, I want Joey to be happy and I want Kelsey to be happy. We totally disagree in the Daisy thing because I was like, oh my gosh, I actually, she won me over in the entire season. I've been so critical and a little bit uncertain about like her posturing and how she was coming across. But last night, I felt like, at least on Kelsey's perspective, her emotional intelligence was like off the charts mm. in terms of how she was like, oh my gosh, like I really want to be there for my friend. I mm. am, you know, she's holding a lot of different emotions that's true at once. And that would be very, very difficult to do in a situation yeah. where it's like, I know I'm being chosen, but I love my friend. And how do I make sure that my friend is okay. So I wish that the only thing production could have really done better is like focused on Kelsey's understanding of the situation yes. versus so much on Daisy's like arc of her being this empowered woman. It could have been Kelsey as this incredibly emotionally intelligent woman who is the right counterpart to Joey because who else could have handled that? I don't think a lot of women could have. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think Kelsey just really showed her character and I am I'm just happy mm -hmm. for them I really want them I want 
want them to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> so we really hope they last together forever. Let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think that they're going to have a very happy ending and they're going to get married? Let's have a conversation. So Joey's season of The Bachelor has officially come to an end, but allow us to suggest an even steamier way to spend your Monday nights going forward. And that's diving into the immersive fantasy universe of Dipsy, the sponsor of today's video. Dipsy is an app full of hundreds of short, spicy audio stories designed by women for women. Think sexy, toe-curling romances and erotic adventures brought to life by sultry voices that you may or may not get a crush on. Definitely not speaking from personal experience. <laughs> <laughs> The storytelling on Dipsy is so good. And you can follow specific characters and couples as they explore each other, their relationship, and new sexual interests. New content is released weekly, so there's always new stories to discover depending on what you're in the mood for. From enemies to lovers to first date escapades to fairies and vampires, trust there's something to pique your curiosity. For listeners of the show, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash here to find love. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to dipseastories.com slash here to find love. Dipsystories.com slash here to find love. The link is in the description and thank you again to Dipsy for sponsoring this video. Okay, so we saw Daisy make her exit on the show and Guys, everybody knows if you've watched any of the recaps in this past season, I'm not a Daisy fan. And that was really hard to me to say because so many people loved Daisy and I was afraid she was being a little bit performative or there was a little bit of posturing or there was something inauthentic with her. But seeing her meet Joey's parents and seeing her say such a really beautiful demonstration of if he chooses me, I'm going to say yes knowing the gravity of that it started to have her win me over a little bit of like wow like she is really honest maybe she came on the show not looking for her like a true love story but she did find it in parts of joey but i did feel like it was a little bit too well not only was she not the right person it was a little bit too late because by mm -hmm. the time that she like really wanted to open up i felt like joey had already made up his mind that it was going to be Kelsey and seeing their last date, it just brought me back to the moments when you've been with somebody and you're just being like, I really want a feature with you. And they're saying, maybe, you know, I, I want you to be happy. <laughs> I want the that best moment. for you. That bad. literally, I know I saw that and I just started to cringe and I thought I was about, like, oh God. <laughs> I know. And then Joey was like, are you okay? And she was looking away. And that was such a universal tick that a lot of people do. But it's like, oh my gosh, don't look at me. I feel so uncomfortable. I don't want to talk about my emotions. And I saw that she genuinely loved Joey. And that came through so clearly. And that was the first episode I've seen that like clear affection of, okay, maybe there was something there. So for me, because my emotions for Daisy were subverting a little bit, I liked that she went over to Kelsey and she and Kelsey mm. had such a strong relationship that she said, girl to girl, like woman to woman, how did that go for you? Because I'm feeling doubtful. I am going out of my mind, anxious, thinking about what's happening. I need to compare notes with you. And mm. that's true sisterhood. Like think mm. about the opportunity when you talk to like one of your friends about what's going on with the guy and they're listening to you, they understand what's going on and the other person can provide information in a way that can help you have some sense of emotional definition or closure. Mm. I felt like that was what Daisy was getting from Kelsey of like, this is, I love you. You know that we love the same man. Where was your date? Because my date didn't go well. Is it not me? If it's not me, I need to get ready for this. I need to start processing the end of this now instead of, like I think the morning of, now that I've seen this segment, it's so harsh and I hope the show doesn't continue with that because it's just such a huge heartbreak that's so hard to recover from. And I don't know, like I just really loved seeing Daisy and Kelsey compare notes and the recognition that dawned over Daisy's face when she realized, oh, it's it's not me. I knew it wasn't me. I had a feeling it wasn't me. And that's like a really big theme of the season. I felt like a lot of people and their gut instincts were really guiding the way that they were moving throughout the show. So yeah, like it was, she did take away from Kelsey and I didn't love that at the end, but I did like how she, instead of being like, Joey, you're going to walk me out. She said, I'm going to 
go to Kelsey, like the person that I have this really deep connection with, the person that can comfort me. And it just made me think back to Zach's season with Katie. I thought about Zach's and, season too. Right? I, was also I thought thinking, about... was thinking about cause, Gabby, right? Yes, because of Gabby, like the way that she stepped out of the level and she said, do not make Katie walk out from this muddy patch. Yes. And they're still really good friends. They're best friends. Yeah. And I think it's because of the fact they had such an incredible friendship. So it's like... Why not let them lean on each other? Why mm. one person has to get chosen? Why not let them support each other? If they mm. love each other as deeply as they do and they do, I would much rather have my friend comfort me than a man mm. that just rejected me. I wouldn't really want anything to do with him. Even as lovely as Joey was, even as incredible and how he just knew how special and how much he was affirming Daisy, it would just feel like, after mm. you know what I mean like of a guy being like but I I think you're so special it's like okay no more <laughs> let me die. let me go crawl into a corner and cry I and I don't it. want you to yeah. look at me when I yeah. am absolutely devastated but let me go to my friend who will hug me and love me and support me so I, I loved that it was so much more nuanced and I think a lot about how the show it's forging all of these romantic narratives right yes Daisy kind of took Kelsey's thunder a little bit but it's kind of like, I'm thinking about like last year, it was the year of the Barbie. There was so much cultural moments, but it was about let's support each other. Let's support women. It's kind of moving away from like a little bit of the patriarchal framing of like a lot of movies and TV shows. Mm. And the show supported that in a way that I hadn't seen before because the women are isolated or they're jealous of each other. And mm. there was no competition, no comparison. It was, oh my gosh, I really love my friend. She really loves this guy. He would be happy of either of us. And I don't know what to do with this very big, unique, complex feeling. The Only the two of them were able to hold that. And I loved how Daisy sought out Kelsey for it. I just wish the show showed Kelsey's intelligence in navigating yeah. that with so much grace and so much uh, openness. Yeah. I think you're really right that there was something very satisfying about getting such a focus on the relationship between oh, Daisy and Kelsey. I loved it. Yeah, yeah, it was really nice and satisfying to have that be kind of like just like a, a, a focal point for the finale. I personally was a little bit like I kind of wanted more focus on Kelsey and Joey, but I like the way that you put it that, you know, it is nice to kind of subvert the focus on this engagement proposal moment is the most important thing the best day of your yes. life it's the most important relationship it's your relationship to this man and like that's the only thing that matters like I kind of like the subversion of that to focus on like also our friendships matter and <laughs> they're important <laughs> like that that was kind of a nice shift in the narrative I think when I watched it I didn't have that reaction personally I think my reaction had been a little bit like when she first showed up at the door to talk to Kelsey I was a little bit upset with Daisy because the truth is it was like Daisy already kind of knew that she wasn't going to get picked so at that point she was basically asking for emotional support from a hmm. girl who's about to get engaged on her big day it's kind of like you know it's like if I'm getting married or having my big movie premiere or something whatever if I'm having something really cool happening to me and then like my friend is like struggling with something and wants to talk to me about it on that day in particular I'm a little bit like of course I want to be there for my friends all the time anytime but you know sometimes you gotta pick your moments a little bit <laughs> and like I was a little bit like Daisy you know this girl's about to go get engaged like don't mess with her head don't like don't fuck it yeah. up like don't don't mess don't mess with this moment that I'm sure like is so important to you know Kelsey and Joey a lot of people like, really care about a proposal and an engagement moment and, you know, I was a little bit like, be careful. But of course, it was fine. Nothing bad happened. And then the other, similarly, when Daisy, I don't know whose decision it was for Daisy and Kelsey to ride in the car together. But I did have that thought of like, you know, Kelsey should be happy, like going, she's like, oh my God, she's about to go get proposed to. But instead, she's like in the car having to like kind of comfort Daisy along the way. So it's kind of like, she's having to deal with a lot of like another person's emotions on what should be like the happiest day of her life. Mm. So I was a little bit like, Ugh. I don't know, yeah. but I mean, I like the way you're, what you're saying of like, but their friendship is important. Like, why should the focus be on just Joey and Kelsey? So I, I can really see it both yeah. ways. I also think like when Daisy went up to the stage and kind of like, 
she kind of like took the power away from Joey, which usually I'm like, yes, take the power away from that man. Like I'm always like about it. But in this moment, like Joey's big fear has always been being rejected on that proposal stage. And Daisy kind of made it happen. Fortunately, Joey Mm. didn't spiral or anything. Like I had a momentary fear. I was like, oh my God, don't let this freak Joey out. Like don't let Joey get freaked out by Daisy coming on being like, actually I'm leaving. But it didn't happen. Joey was fine. But I did have that like momentary, like, oh my God, I hope this doesn't mess with the end of Joey and Kelsey's story. But it was fine. Mm. Nothing bad happened. It was okay. But I was a little bit like, I just was nervous because I was like, you are very, you're poking at like a wound or like a very real fear that you know Joey has, which is getting rejected on that stage. And you kind of did it. You were like, I'm not going to let you reject me. I'm going to reject you. And I was like, Mm. Daisy, like, let the man like have his moment. I know you're afraid you're trying to protect your heart, but like, you know, you kind of knew that this was a possibility that you're going to not get yeah. picked. And now you know that you're not going to get picked. Just let these people have their moments. Like be careful with their feelings. I know you're trying to protect yourself, but you got to be careful with them on this day. Mm. But anyways, I'm, I'm, I mean, nothing bad happened. So it was all fine. And she was obviously had like the best intentions. I'm not upset with her, but I was a little bit like, uh, be careful. <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, I was a little, I was surprised about how much I was loving the way the narrative shifted, I mean, because I have not been a big, I've been a closeted, like, oh, I don't know if I like Daisy person this entire season. I've said it a little bit on our show. I haven't been won over by her. And it did surprise me how much I enjoyed it. We talk a lot about how the franchise needs to change. And mm-hmm. in The Bachelor in particular, it needs to change. I'm tired of the man being like, I choose you. And then you guys yeah. don't have to support each other. And then you yeah. get to have these siloed reactions it was great to see Daisy be like I know you're not choosing me and I'm not going to let you not choose me when we both know it and we we can feel it Daisy just kind of knew okay if it's not me why am I gonna go through the whole song and dance if my wound is the same as Joey's because she said Mm -hmm. I also am so afraid of people not choosing me Mm -hmm. so here's her and Joey with like these twin fears He's like, I have to do something that you know is the worst thing to happen to me. And she was like, I can feel you doing it and we're not going to have it. Like he didn't Mm -hmm. have to give her the rejection that he knew would have been extremely traumatizing. And then she didn't have to let it happen again and then lick her wounds. So it was very, it was empowering from that perspective. And I just wish that, right? Like the only thing I wish is that Kelsey... We just got to see Kelsey's grace and beauty and you're right. It was her big day. And she was like, Ooh, I'm getting engaged and I'm holding the hand on my friend who he's rejecting. (laughs) It's it's just like like, baby girl should be like so happy in that car. It's complicated. Proposal day. She should be able to be like having a great time. But instead she's like, all right, I'll support Daisy first. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And I was thinking about it too. And it's like, if Daisy hadn't come to her room, she didn't know if Joey was going to choose her. So it's like she Mm. knew, but the feeling was different. It wasn't, is he choosing me? Am I going to be the first or the second? She was like, I know he's choosing me and he's rejecting her. So it's like all of their feelings got to be dealt with in the moment. It didn't have to be after a big conversation yeah. Which, if you, like, bring it back to real relationship dynamics, in a relationship, you kind of know when things are ending, even before having the big talk. Mm. And it felt really realistic to that, where mm. Daisy was already healing before they had their convo of, like, I know it, I'm leaving this conversation, and, you know, good luck, I right. see what's happening, and I'm happy for you, it breaks my heart, but I love the person that you're choosing, Yes, so I was like, yeah. ooh, what complexity towards the end of the you're show. Right. <laughs> and it's like, you're right. It's just beautiful to see Kelsey and Daisy, you know, just not be competitive. Like they hugged it out before Daisy left and before Kelsey went up to the stage. I mean, it was it was a really beautiful showing of female friendship and of the ability to kind of rise above the kind of like petty jealousy that I think yes I mean jealousy is just an emotion it's not petty I mean but I do think that it can make it it can be a block to like that connection with other people and they didn't let it be a block they did allow they allowed themselves to see past that and be able to be connected in this moment 
I personally was just a little bit like, ah, oh, there's a lot of like daisy focus on Kelsey and Joey's big day, but that's fine. That's fine. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. And I, I, I think I agree with what you said. Right. And you know, honestly, even Daisy at the, after the final rose was in that mindset of like, all right, I've taken enough airtime. Let's focus. Like she yes. kept redirecting the conversation back to Joey and Kelsey, which I loved. I loved seeing her do that. I think she probably watched it back and was like, ugh. This whole thing feels like it has been about me the whole time. And it's like not even about me. It's really about Joey and Kelsey. So she even had that posture, I think, at the after the final rose, which I liked. I appreciated that. And it d- did seem apparent yeah. to me that even if in the moment, maybe she did kind of act a little bit out of fear in a way that like I didn't love. I it, it feels like after the moment she was like, OK, but like I need to just let these people have their love story. And I just need to back yes. off. And I love that from her. So overall, I was yeah. like, this was, you know, it was just like a really beautiful type of finale. And it was really different. I mean, I was definitely shocked seeing them both in the car. I was like, what's happening? I know. This was the first finale when I was literally like, I don't know what's happening. Everything is just like twist and turn. I think overall everyone, I mean, these are like kind of really sweet, kind souls. And everyone was just trying to be sweet and kind to each other. And so this is like a very satisfying type of ending to have to just have just everyone be really nice <laughs> just like yeah. treat each other well and trying their best to treat each other well and just people mm-hmm. being in love and dealing with their emotions well like this is like exactly the kind of television that I actually enjoy and I, it was just a beautiful way for the season to end okay so let us know down below what you all thought about how Daisy ended her relationship with Joey and just how Daisy handled the whole end of this season did you like the moments between Daisy and Kelsey Leave your thoughts down below. I'm very curious what other people thought. By the way, guys, we have an Instagram, so come find us on there. We're always posting a lot of quick takes, a lot of behind the scenes of filming, and some after hour thoughts on the latest Bachelor Nation relationship news. So it takes us to the best part of the episode. I mean, I love seeing the engagement, love seeing the girl power, but let's be honest, we are both Asian Americans covering the show to see Jen, the first Asian American lead the show has ever seen. It was, I felt like I was in a dream. I just thought, is it happening? Is it true? Like, is this really what we're getting? Our dreams are being manifested. I am so thrilled that she was chosen to have her love story on the show. I personally can't wait. I think it's going to be such a different season Maybe it's because I'm also Vietnamese. I also come from an immigrant family. I know what it's like to date in a family when, you know, there's not a lot of openness. There is a lot of cultural things to navigate. I'm really excited to cover her show. And I think the conversations we're going to be having about her love story and the way that she dates, how her family perceives the show is going to be so so different. I just hope Bachelor Nation takes care of her, you know? Like, I'm just like, please, we're making history with this. This is so important. I totally agree. I'm so excited about Jen. I think that she's going to be such an incredible bachelorette for so many reasons. Honestly, first and foremost, the most obvious, she's hot. I'm just like, oh my God, (laughs) we just got... Get to have this hot ass girl be our bachelorette. I'm so excited to see her date all these men and melt them and turn them to shreds. I like just can't wait. It's so <laughs> exciting. Of course, it's exciting that we finally, finally have an Asian American lead. Representation, of course, matters, and it is wild that we have not yet had a single Asian American lead in this franchise before. I mean, Jesse even mentioned it's been, I think, 22 years of this show Too long. is existing. I mean, you're killing me. <laughs> like that is wild that there has not been an Asian American lead this whole time. Even Jen was like, I don't even know how to respond to that because it is so wild to, to think that she's the first one in 2024. But here we are and I'm so excited about it. There's no one more deserving. Also, I mean, I think she's just such a cool person. Like she's a PA. It's so cool to have such a career driven bachelorette someone who has been very open about talking about her work in the like healthcare field I literally don't know anything about PA so I I don't know (laughs) I don't know anything about it but it's cool (laughs) love seeing a passionate go-getter as our lead like that's so awesome and then like to your point Julie it's just cool to have like this really interesting different family story she of course has this Vietnamese family I think she talked about yeah her family being immigrants and then 
having this challenging kind of childhood and relationship with her dad. There's like so many pieces of it that are just different from our typical leads. Even this, just this overarching thing about having this like kind of barrier of understanding, like this generational gap between her and her mom and like this um, gap, like culture gap between her and her mom. Like there's so much to kind of get into here. And I'm just so excited about it. Like there's so much, like so many ways that this story could go, so many parts of her story that could be explored. And then you layer in the kind of aspect of like exploring interracial relationships, specifically ones where like the families might be quite different in terms of traditions and culture and family dynamics. There's just so many things that I'm excited about. Also, I hope they like load her up with like a bunch of like super hot Asian dudes. I like I just, <laughs> just, I also <laughs> want that. Also, she was just hilarious during her little announcement hot seat moment she was just like funny and like edgy she had like a penis joke she like took shots i was like this is great i'm we're in for a good season this is gonna be so fun <laughs> i'm so excited i think that her personality is really gonna shine and i just love 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 all of the nuance to her story that we're gonna receive just even seeing how her family responds to being on camera seeing how she talks to other people that she's dating about a lot of the things that she's gone through in her life it just seems so unique so different i hope they handle it well that's my only fear is like i hope the production the editing i hope they handle her story well and you know just protect her from this racist fan base and like yes. are able to kind of do that for her that's like my main concern about this season because she's got all the pieces of a fantastic bachelorette season so i'm so excited i just I need her to be protected <laughs> from everyone. Yes. I don't know. I kind of noticed a little bit of the audience being like, hmm, Jen. And I was like, no, like, I think Jen is going to be such an incredible, interesting choice. Yeah. And I will say that I did see like a few people on social media saying they like didn't see it coming or like didn't know her name. I was like, oh, it's giving a little bit of subconscious racism. <laughs> like, maybe don't say that out loud. <laughs> like, I was like, wow. Everyone's being really vocal. I'm like, ah, I think y'all gotta keep the thoughts maybe to yourselves. Like, she had a very <laughs> prominent storyline all season long. She was in the top six. It was a shocker to see her not go to hometowns. That was like a whole storyline around hometowns that it was like shocking that she didn't make it through. And her Woman Tell All Hot Seat was like a very obvious Bachelorette teaser edit right she like yeah. kind of had that moment where like jesse was like "Ooh, like what are you doing next and she was like i don't know jesse and it seemed very obvious to me that she, she was being teased for the bachelorette you know season so i was kind of surprised that people were surprised also maybe follow more bachelor commentators of color because literally we've all been <laughs> gushing about her all season so i don't know how anyone could not know who she is other than of racism <laughs> so I just... <laughs> and I think too I don't know if the reason why people are upset with her being the bachelor right is because maybe they wanted a Daisy maybe they wanted a Maria but I hope that the scope could be widened out to just be wow we're getting to see something different on the show and there is a possibility they could be the leads at a later time, but right now it is clearly right. Jen's time. I think Jen is ready. She, before anything happened of Daisy and Kelsey, I thought she was the most ready to get engaged. She was so excited about choosing Joey in a way that the other women were still coming to terms with, and it's not a bad thing. It just speaks a lot about her readiness. Think about the incredible story and a new kind of fan base is going to be engaged with her mm -hmm. because there is so many rich, beautiful love stories that can come from the show. And I love yeah. that Jen is representing this like new chapter for the franchise. So I'm just super, I've been excited. Like I saw the show, I was crying when I saw her be the Bachelor, right? And I literally had no, like that was my only emotion. And it's like, if you're thinking about it from that perspective of other Asian Americans watching it, then it's like, yeah, like we need to see these love stories being highlighted. We want to see us being represented on the screen. I'm just excited to see men just thirst after her. I'm excited for her to have these slow motion takes of her walking down the beach talking about her love story. You know, like I want to see her being represented. I want to see her be that girl. And she is yeah. that girl. It's just so incredible. So I... 
we will be gushing about her over in Here to Find Love. We will be talking about her show, not only through a critical lens, but through the importance of this kind of representation on the show. I was a little bit like, oof, I don't know if I can keep watching The Bachelor if it's going to be like this. And now it's right. like, yes, like I can watch it every year, every season. They're moving in the right direction, finally. Exactly. That's what it felt like to me. I was like, wow, this is, I'm finally like actually happy about something that the producers decided to do. I'm finally like seeing them listen to the fan base and take steps forward toward the fan base that they want to have instead of kind of pandering to maybe like their older fan base that, you know, maybe isn't so aligned with the values that the show wants to have. So I, I'm so happy and excited about this choice. It feels like a really smart amazing choice and I just think it's gonna be a great season like I think it's gonna be fantastic like I love everything about her we're just gonna we're just gonna cool bachelorette like this is freaking awesome I'm so excited (laughs) (laughs) we'll be covering her show very extensively very closely we're just gonna be all over her like a new Jen Stan account so (laughs) I know (laughs) I was like I don't want to be just like all up in Jen's mentions like for months but that is what it feels like I think we will be yeah (laughs) (laughs) so we are so excited to see her as a bachelorette but what do you all think the htfl audience let us know in the comments down below are you excited to see her love story play out on the big screen wow it's wild to be at the end of joe's season it really was i mean was this like the best bachelor season this was of all absolutely. time or at least in a long time it was so good it was like genuinely engaging and we just actually liked Joey and we're happy for him. I know. Like, i'm that so happy so this is probably my favorite season that i've watched out of so all too. of the seasons yeah I it's know. been he's charmed me he's such a good bachelor i really hope that we continue to choose leads that feel like him that just show what it's like to date in such a generous loving kind caring way yeah it was giving like new masculinity it's like this is mm. this is the modern man this is what women <laughs> want who like men like this is this is exactly <laughs> This is it. And I just, that's why it was so successful. And, Mm. you know, I just, I want more of it. I'm so excited about where the Bachelor franchise is going, kind of between Joey as the lead and then Jen as our Bachelorette lead. I just feel like we're, I feel like we're kind of, doesn't it? I feel hopeful. Like, I feel I know. I'm never hopeful about this franchise. <laughs> we usually watch the show and it's like, okay, let's go hide in a corner for a few months until the next season happens. This feels so, so good. I love the direction the show is going in. This change is slow. The change is small. It is very slow. incremental, but it is moving. Yes. <laughs> in the right direction. Let's keep critiquing these shows. Let's keep talking about love in a really nuanced, thoughtful way. And then we'll be back for Gen season. We'll be back for the Golden Bachelor, right? So yay. Stay tuned. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.